So let's move on to guitars. Let's take a listen to a chorus, what we have. So usually in most of my productions, there's a lot more guitars, and I kind of orchestrate with them. But this one didn't really need it. So there's a main heavy guitar that's doubled. Les Paul through diesel tuned down. Uh, went to a bus master, and that had a little more help from this for some reason. And I had the API 550s back here. So here's those parts alone. Then I wanted some kind of subhook to listen to, counterpoint for the vocal, and I added this part. Plus Paul Special P90s through a Marshall. Then I felt like I needed the chorus to grow, so I wanted to boost it up at the end, so I added these guys. So in order to make the ending like climb up and build a little more, I put this unison bending wah guitar melody. So here's all the guitars in the chorus. So in that post chorus or the reintro, there's the low guitars doing the main riff. Then I added a baritone, and because the baritone couldn't get a sub octave of all of the notes, there was some jumps in the register. So there's like a fifth harmony happening in there. So check it out. Here's another pair of guitars up the octave, doing a double to give it some more clarity. In the second pre-chorus, for a little variety and a little tension, I added another part, play that. That gives a little a little rub to make the the pre a little more nerve wracking, so you feel the chorus come in and it kind of opens up. So let's hear the guitars in the pre, all the ones we have in the second pre-chorus. the pre-chorus with everything in. So that's our guitars.